A new report from the International Rhino Foundation found three of the world's five rhino species could be lost within our lifetime. Perhaps no species is closer to extinction than the northern white rhino. There are only two left in the world. Scientists at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park are part of an international effort trying to save the species. John Blackstone looks at their latest accomplishments. This southern white rhino named Victoria is pregnant. Oh, she, she's moving quite a bit. At 17 weeks, her calf is about the size of a small banana. Feet down here, spine here. There's her head. That bright spot is her head. Do you see the movement? It's a big moment for Barbara Durant, director of reproductive sciences at the San Diego Zoo. This pregnancy is really significant for us because it was a result of artificial insemination and the sperm we used was frozen. So that's a big hurdle. There have only been a few rhino births from artificial insemination. Victoria is one of six southern rhinos taking part in a study of their complex reproductive system. A study to help save from extinction another branch of the white rhino family, northern white rhinos. Open. We want Victoria to carry this pregnancy to term. Nice job. The reason that's important for us and for all the other females at the Rhino Rescue Center is that they eventually are going to be surrogates or embryo transfer recipients for northern white rhino embryos. The northern white rhino is on the verge of vanishing forever. In 2015 at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park, we met Nola, an elderly northern white, one of just five left on the planet. She likes to be rubbed behind her ear there. Rubbed behind her ear. Nola has since died. All five species of rhinos face the same threat, demand on the black market for their horns, mistakenly believed to have medicinal properties. In 2017, poachers killed more than 1,100 rhinos. Today, only two northern whites remain, a mother and a daughter in Kenya under 24-hour armed guard. They were poached to extinction, we feel. It's our responsibility to bring that species back. Victoria and five other Southern Whites were relocated to San Diego from South Africa. This one arrived with a wound in her side. They brought the bomb squad out to come and x-ray her because our x-ray equipment can't shoot through a rhino. They're just too big. They confirmed for us that there were fragments of bullets inside of her. The hope is that these southern white females will become surrogate mothers for northern white embryos. But creating those embryos depends largely on the safari park's frozen zoo, the largest gene bank in the world with samples from some 10,000 animals. So we have cell lines from 12 different northern white rhinos, and that is enough genetic diversity to bring back a self-sustaining population of northern white rhinos. Durant believes assisted reproduction and stem cell research gives scientists an opportunity to resurrect the northern whites. A team from the Leibniz Institute in Berlin has been perfecting a procedure to harvest rhino eggs and hopes to extract eggs from the remaining two northern white females this fall. Not so long ago, the population of southern white rhinos was also dwindling. Breeding programs have helped their survival. Durant hopes one day, perhaps years from now, a newborn northern white will bring the promise of a return from extinction. It's a very emotional thing for us to see a species become extinct before our very eyes. But we have those cells safe in the frozen zoo, so it gives us hope. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, Escondido, California. What an amazing job that scientists can do. Yeah. I wish them a lot of luck. It's mm -hmm. so encouraging. I have my six-year-old, I hope he's watching. This is something he was really <laughs> into when he found out there are only two. So yes. this is good news. Hope you're watching, Jake. Yeah.